this place is mine and like I'm 10 toes down. Hello, welcome. My name is Symbia and I'm helping you understand a lot of Afrobeats and Nigerian songs that are out. Really quick, only the songwriter knows the true meaning of a song since they wrote it. However, I'm here to help out with some of the slang, the broken English, and the Yoruba language that they use in a lot of their songs. Now, Gwa Gwalada, this is a local government in Abuja, and Abuja is the federal capital territory of Nigeria. Essentially, they're talking about this area that's probably a happening place, like things are happening, it's moving, it's, it's, there's things to do. All right, let's get started. So Benson, formerly known as Buju, comes on and he's like, when I'm in Abuja, I go to Guagualada. He speaks broken English, but that's what he's saying. So Taka is to snap and then Sufe is to whistle. Um, however, in Nigerian culture, when someone does this motion like this, it's like to say, God forbid, or it's like, uh, your boss say, Olor Maja, uh, Ibo says, Tufi Akwa. And it's like, in a way, to be like, mm, not me, can't be talking about me, it's not me. So he's saying, one ni montaka sufe, which is, they're saying, I'm doing this and I'm whistling. <laughs> See, I want ta is to my enemies, Laura. So imagine if, like, you have haters, people are talking and they're like trying to talk about you, but you're just like, whatever whistling while they're talking it's like you're playing with them you're not taking them seriously now he speaks broken english here and he says i will not force it if it's past my power so while they're talking he's like he, he's it's, it's essentially saying he's not gonna do too much like people expect you to fight 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 oh if someone's talking about you you fight back all that he's like mm -mm, i'm not gonna force it i don't put my energy and things like that now shawarma that's a food and it's like it consists of like protein and then you can put a uh, cabbage uh, mayonnaise different things in there and then you wrap it up in the bread and then you eat it however they're not talking about real shawarma they're talking about like marijuana weed Igbo, whatever you call it so his enemies are talking about him. He's like, I'm not even paying attention. He's making, playing around with them. He's not going to, he's not going to force it. He's not going to fight. Instead, he's going to relax and just smoke and just chill in Guagualada. So now Kiss Daniel comes on and their voices are so unique. And he's like the same thing. He's in Abuja and he goes to Guagualada. Same thing he's he's playing with his enemies people are talking all that stuff he doesn't pay them any attention and he will not force it and he will not do more than himself so they both say the chorus they're saying the same thing just the two of them now shaggy vibes comes on and he's like me on fault and fall, if something's fall, it means it broke. And he's like, mm -mm, I'm not broken. Like, I'm good. I'm straight. I'm legit. And then he says, Molana, and that's Arabic. And that means like, what he's saying here is like, boss. So he's like, I'm not broken, boss. Boss, like my guy, boy, I'm, I'm good. And then he says, on God. And if you know, God is like, he's swearing that he's good. Let me ask God. Ile Nilemi, that's Yoruba, and Ile means house. So he's saying, this house is my house. And then as guard, I believe that's what he's saying there. And if you think about a guard, they defend their territory. So he's like, this place is mine. And like, I'm 10 toes down. No one can, you know, uh, address me, can try me. <laughs> So 
So Alif Lami, that is um, in the, that's a verse in the Quran. And um, I believe Shaif Vibes is Muslim because he, he's going to speak a lot of Arabic. So Quran is what they, that's their holy book. Uh, that's people, uh, people that are Muslim. That's the holy book that they use. And it's like, he says, Alif Lami. And this term, no one knows what it truly means. Like there's no one that knows the true meaning of it. People can say different, different things, but it means a whole bunch of things. But the reason why Shayu Vibes essentially says it, it's like he says that and then he says, be saying amen. That's that on me. So he's like, he's saying something from the Quran. He's like, back it up. Let's say amen. And then he says, Fumi Lowo Iya Charlie. So Owo is uh, money. So he's saying, give me money. Then he says, Iya Charlie. However, this Iya Charlie is slang and I'm going to break it down. Um, Iya Charlie means Charlie's mom. And in Nigerian culture, um, I don't know. I can only, I'm Yoruba, so I can speak on Yoruba hair. Like my, when uh, aunties and uncles are dress, are addressing each other, they don't call them by their first name. They will, call, someone will call my mom, Iya Symbiot, I'm Symbiot. So if they're saying Symbiot's mother. So many people will say Iya Symbi to my mom. Um, and so here he says Iya Charlie. So Charlie is, um, now King Charles, but he was Prince Charles and King Charles' mom was Queen Elizabeth. Now, you know, Queen Elizabeth, she was the queen or whatever. And um, when you, UK and they, on their pounds, they put the, whoever's in charge, like the king or queen, their face on the currency. So what he's saying is give me money, pounds. That's when they say Iya Charlie in Nigeria, they're talking about pounds. <laughs> Wahhabi is also Arabic and it's like a name. You, it's like someone's name. You're, he's like, hello, hello, give me money. Like, let's go, Wahhabi, let's go. Let's, let's move. So then he says, Mukadamu Vado. Mukadamu is also Arabic and it's, um, it's like what you can call someone like a mayor or, or a governor. So he's hailing Vado. Vado is kiss daniel in many of kiss daniel's songs he calls himself vado so he's like kiss daniel here like my god my boy governor mayor he's like can't you see i hang around rich people wealthy people is what he surrounds himself with so um oju is eyes and then eb is problem so he says so that our eye like i don't want us to see problems he calls the manager like drop the song tomorrow. So he's like, don't wait till next week. Let's let's go. There's music to be made. People want to hear our music. We got to get money. Let's go. Let's be about it. Let's not let's not slack. Let's not be lazy. Like let's move. Let's push it. And they're always gonna throw in a lady or a babe in their song. So he's like, if loving you is going is a crime. Like if I got to struggle, if it's punishment, if I got to work, if it's something bad, goodbye. Like he doesn't want to waste his time. He he got he has things to do. Uh, my cosa, he's like dancing. Coupe is also another dance that um like all this, and it came out like two three years ago. Don't quote me, but he's just like dance and all. And then he says one more asunle, and one more is that they know that. And then ah, sunle means we're not sleeping at home. So he's saying people know that we're not sleeping at home. What are they doing? They're outside, they're moving, they're hustling, they're, they're on their grind. So he says, I day for Guagualada, which is broken English, that I'm in Guagualada and I'm coming back mo dakbada. Dakbada means like, uh, like, give it back or like return something. So he's like, don't worry, I'm here now, but I'm coming back. So um, in the like ad libs, uh, Kizana says, Kile, we, which is, what did you say? And then he says, on to the next one, give me ginger, give me power. So ginger, um, that's like how they use it is Nigerian slang. And when someone says ginger, give me ginger, it's like, 
give me something that makes me feel good, feels happy, that, you know, motivates me, inspires me. And then, so he's talking about a lady. He's just like, you know, do something to make me feel good. He said, give me power. So like, use your strength, don't be lazy. And then on my last, like, lady or babe. <laughs> Then he's like you surprise me you control me so like what she's doing he has she has his full attention like she's stunning she's captivating him and then they say it again and then uh once he saw for me is they've spoken for me like they're ready they already said it all and then he's like don't worry there's no issues all right and that's pretty much the end of the song let me know what you guys think let me know if i missed something please put it in the comments and how do you guys like the song overall do not forget to like comment subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you can be up to date with my newest songs thank you take care god bless I said I'm in love with you.